Hello and welcome to the show. Now, when it comes to Forza Horizon 4, there are plenty of vehicles to choose from. And a little while ago, we took some of the brands that were making high-performance SUVs, and while I don't particularly like them, they are still a thing, and took them racing up against some of that particular brand's sort of classic sports cars. Thanks to Forza's PI system, it's their rating system, how the cars are rated in terms of performance, we could find a vehicle that's relatively comparable with the SUV and take the racing and see what would happen. And uh, the cars won. Pretty much. The cars generally came out on top despite being much older than their SUV counterparts. But, see here's the thing, there are plenty of vehicles in Horizon 4, there are plenty of pickup trucks, and it's not so uncommon these days for there to be a faster, sportier version of a pickup truck. So, what would happen if we took these sporty pickup trucks and raced them again against some of that brand's classic vehicles? Would perhaps some of the pickup trucks stand any chance whatsoever? So, for our first race with this pickup truck versus sports cars ish selection, we are starting with Chevrolet. We have the Colorado, the ZR2, that is actually a really, very, very good truck in general. It's been slightly fast perhaps on some, on most sport games, I think I had a very good one. Um, on here, the Ram, I think, is generally a little bit quicker. But Colorado is still a very, very good truck, and this is now going up against a Corvette 70s, Corvette ZR2. Now, there is a little bit of a PI difference between these. Uh, the Corvette is slightly higher. We're talking about less than 10 uh, different. I'm expecting to see the Corvette be quicker down the straights. At the end of the day, this thing is a big boat, really, uh, in comparison to the ZR2. However, the Colorado is a lot more modern. It's all-wheel drive is better handling than that uh, ZR1. Oh dear, although I say that and I found myself heading towards a wall. Maybe we don't say the Colorado is a little bit better handling. I'm probably going to get myself in trouble. Uh, <laughs> right, here we go, up through here. There was a little bit of trouble from one of the Corvettes uh, in order. This is a Corvette trapped in this little group. This might be a tall order for our pickup trucks. I'm just, just looking at it. Might not be impossible, but it might be a little bit of a tall order for the pickup. I mean, I want the pickups to be, I don't let's say that, I want the cars to be winning naturally in a truck versus car battle, however, I'm driving the pickup and therefore I want to be winning. Uh, we are going to have a look, I mean we're going to end up racing against all the trucks, it might end up being a little bit of a multi-class race going on here, ah, there's not much space, there's not much space at all for the trucks, we're gonna, we get a good run down here, there's, ah, there's one ZR2, I mean now we're up to speed, we're actually not getting dropped as much by the Corvettes as I feared. Three wide here is going to end in a complete and utter catastrophe. I think we're going to have a little lift and fall back into line, as that is not going to work uh, down here. Oh, we run out of grip all the way through there. I think the problem is, is that we could have the speed, we have the grip in the twisty, in a twisty enough setting, maybe? Uh, around here, though, it is maybe not quite enough. We're still going to have a battle with the Colorados. That's the thing with this. If it turns out one is faster than the other, um, we're still going to have a battle amongst ourselves with the trucks. Oh, we're going to try. There's a little bit of a gap. We're going to try and make a gap here. Uh, it's not quite going to work, though, for me, is it? No, we're going to be stuck on the outside a smidge and have to fall back into line uh, through this next corner. I mean, 6th place is not that far away from 5th in the grand scheme of things. We're just going to give a little bop to the truck ahead, and we will run. We're going to try to get to the inside now. We get a good run out of the final corner. We're in identical trucks. I've got nothing to slipstream off of at the moment. We're just going to sit here. We're going to get to the door. Uh, we're going to maybe, maybe make a pass stick into turn 1 here. I've not been very good at turn 1. This time it's Gliska's turn to slide the truck, spin the wheels, pour smoke through that corner, uh, we are going to hopefully get the run on the exit. We will maintain our position. We've got two more laps. To, oh, although it's a big, that's a big dive. Oh, I was, there, there is a brave dive. The door was the tiniest bit ajar, and then it was opened. Uh, that much is for sure there. Uh, we're going to be on the outside up here, though. We may still sweep around and keep the position, because we're going to be on the inside oh, for the next one. Clark's going to get both of us, as I got too much weight transfer. I just couldn't get the suspension under control. Clark dies past both of us. This is a riveting battle over eight position at the moment. Any hope of us getting any further up in the field is minuscule and pretty much gone, barring 
I mean, nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna help us <laughs> at this point, but screw it. We're gonna fight for eighth place like it's the lead. I feel like that is the only way to go. Ah, oh, I think the Corvette behind may have missed a checkpoint. To be fair, might have tried to push his way past the checkpoint and, and missed something like that along the way. Um, here we go. Come on. We can find a way into eight, possibly here. Do we have a big dive at turn one? No, no, not, not going to be able to go big or too far back. Clark's taking it nice and neat and tidy through here. Um, I'm going to wander a little bit too wide. Yeah, definitely have to be careful with the weight transfer on this. Um, do not want to get caught out again. I can. I think I was a little bit cautious through that corner last time around. That's what got me in trouble, really. Um, I mean, I think there's still... There is some of the trucks are a little close to the cars. We haven't really helped ourselves out in this one. We've got stuck in our own little battles. Uh, we're definitely not as quick in the Colorado. They do punch through the fences um, pretty well. They will knock their way through that fence without too much of a trouble. Uh, they don't lose as much speed as you do the Corvette. Uh, yeah, they, they have got fifth place away in the Colorado. I'm actually not driving this Colorado very well, if I'm honest. I like this truck. I really do. Normally. Apparently, this one is not really going to plan here. This one is, is struggling a little bit around. Oh, I'm struggling a little bit, sorry, with this with this, with this race. Um, let's see what we can do on this final lap. We are going to try our very best to make up some time. We're going to try our very best to not throw this one away, but at the moment it's not really going. <laughs> I've not got the speed with this. I don't know what it is I'm struggling to deal with. Weight transfer, maybe? I just can't find any pace in the truck. Slightly disappointing. Right. Hey. Ah. There we go. There is a couple more corners for us to head around. Uh, Cass has come to say hello. Hello, buddy. Uh, it's, uh, we would blame it on Distracto Cat, only definitely not Distracto Cat's fault. Uh, this one. Uh, we're, not got, we're not got the speed. I'll be curious to see lap times. I think it'll be a little bit close, but... It'll be a little bit closer to the ones faster than me, basically, with these with these trucks. I was probably sticking down on those ZR2s. We have a better final lap, but it still isn't really enough. Ninth place for us in the Colorados. They were down. Yeah, yeah, they were down. <laughs> they were down in terms of lap time. A curious, a curious sort of mix up. The Corvette's definitely the way to go. So. We move next to the Prince's Street Garden Circuit, where we have got the Battle of the Fords. It is a Ford Capri versus the Ford Ranger Raptor. I've been looking up to have a go with the Ranger Raptor. Quite a lot of fun to throw it around in the field. Uh, in terms of racing it around an Edinburgh street circuit, I don't know. Uh, now, we have about 20 PI advantage in this one. In general, when we've done this kind of battle, though, it has been the, the cars that have been in favour. Capri, I mean, the Capri is a very, very cool car. I've struggled to make them quick, particularly in, in Forza games. Doesn't mean they don't work. Um, but I guess we're going to find out in this. The hope is, with us all starting at the front, we can maybe make a big old Ranger-ish roadblock. Ranger, that would work. That would work. Bloody hell, I'm very slow compared to that Capri. Uh, not a good start. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the Ranger Raptor does not have the most power. Uh, it is quite heavy, but it does have grip. It has many grips, in fact, as we run up that hill. The Capri sliding around. There's an old Ford with tiny tyres. Probably will do. Um, I mean, if anything, it looks like the Capri has more body roll than I do, and that's saying something when I'm in a giant pickup truck. Unfortunately, I think we're going to get close, and then we're just going to lose out down here. Just the speed... Now, there are enough Capri... There are enough ranges to maybe block in the Capris a little bit. That would be helpful. This coming... This corner coming up here is going to be really important for us. Oh, I thought the Ranger has a million gears for reasons... Um, yeah, that corner there is going to be really important. If I can be quick through there and we can be quick through the final couple of corners, maybe there's a chance. I fear it's not going to be enough, barring a mistake. Now, mistakes may well be made uh, by the Capris. Uh, we are going to absolutely chuck the Raptor through there. It's quick. It's quick through there. Is it going to be quick enough? We get, we're so far back by turn one again. Uh, that we're going to have to go for all the maximum sneaky lines. I don't really like doing that. Uh, however, all of the effort is going to have to be made here. Uh, we want to see that Capri sliding around. We want to see it bobbling. We want to see it uncomfortable and just moving about a bit because that's going to be the way we find a way. You know, we've got to find a way past. That is going to be the way to do it. The other Capris are 
buried in traffic at the moment. Uh, the Raptors are proving very, very difficult to get past. Again, we're close. We're about the same distance that we were last lap around, but we're now going to just lose out on this run down towards the next corner. Someone's been a checkpoint further back. I think that's one of the Raptors, actually. Um, yeah, we're actually all pulling away as the rest of the field is having a big old fight. Uh, how brave can we be through here? The Raptor is really not that bad to drive. Yes, it's a big truck, but it doesn't actually feel that heavy. You can kind of chuck it around, and it's got a lot of grip. Uh, it's, it's actually got an awful lot of grip. It's not going crazy quick, that much is true, uh, but... Yeah, it does have a lot of grip. We are flat through that corner, and again, it's about the same gap. If I could draw alongside, I could probably make life very difficult for that Capri. Although also, if I did manage to catch it, what's the betting? that Capri could make life a lot more difficult for me because uh, I'd lose all of my lap speed advantage. The time I gained through the corners um, would get lost, suck, stuck, uh, sat behind that Capri and it has not slid its way up this hill this time around. That's a problem for me here. Uh, if, it's, if it's made it, it's actually done pretty well. I've not had a great first sector here either. It is now much further away than it was last time around, although it's wide on the exit of the hairpin. On the very twistiest of circuits, we could probably do it. On the very, very twistiest of circuits, we could probably make this one work. The problem is, you need the very twistiest of circuits. And even here, even here with some of these high-speed corners, as much as I can chuck the truck in it, as much as we can carry huge amounts of speed, it's not quite enough. As much as we are trying here, we are going to be a little short. It's a lot closer, a lot closer than the Colorado was. So much closer than the Colorado was in terms of uh, sort of closeness in terms of lap speed and all of that. But we are going to come a little. I don't, I don't think it's not really going to do much for me. Uh, if I have anything, it's made me take a real messy line through there. Not really been that great uh, from me. No, we kind of beans this lap up, and I hit the wall on the inside. I might even lose bloody second place at this rate. I was trying, we're kind of being extra aggressive in the hope that maybe there was a chance we could find a way to make some lap time, but it didn't really work out, sadly. We're going to round the hairpin. Gliska's within a second of us back there, unless I do something and it's not doing anything more galactically stupid, and Pego and Liam are coming with the Capris. They've not really been able to clear through the traffic, which kind of surprises me in some ways. Uh... Again, the Capri is the quicker car here. I'm not going to be too dis... Well, I say that. I like that the cars are beating the SUVs. However, I'm also the one driving the SUVs slash pickup trucks, and I want to be winning. Well, you know, second place isn't the worst thing in the world. I say that. Don't say that. We've still got a quarter to go. Yeah. Terrible final lap by me. Oh, it might be a terrible final quarter as well. I think we'll get away with it, though, just about. We run wide on the exit, but that's okay. We will head to the finish line. It's a second place for us. I kept with the Capri for a little while. On a perfect lap and a scruffy lap from the Capri, we could maybe give it some grief, but nah, they're a little bit too fast. We continue to see a similar trend. I was going to go into 109s with that Raptor. Um, however, they were, they were a lot closer. They were a lot, lot closer around here. Sadly, just not quite enough. I mean, that is not the... That's not the most power circuit. That's a bit twisty track, and we still couldn't do it there. Because they will take a second victory. So, up next, we move to Dodge. Well, kind of Dodge slash Ram a little bit. Either way, I've got a car this time around. We've got the most modern of our cars, if you like, the 99 Dodge Viper, uh, that does have a little bit of a PI advantage, but we're racing up against the Ram Rebel TRX. Now, in the world of Horizon 4, the Ram Rebel is actually a pretty damn good A-Class vehicle in general. can actually be very, very quick indeed. Now, with these being the fastest cars, we come to the quickest circuit, the biggest circuit, the Astmore Heritage Circuit. Uh, it's got some longer straights, that much is for sure. We're going to be a, a little bit slower for line, there is no doubt about this one. The all-wheel drive truck's going to launch, I've got a lot of work to be doing. I don't want to stay ahead of the trucks if I can at all. Possibly towards this first quarter, we are going to get through. If I don't turn the steer a little bit wide and smack the wall, that's fine. We'll be in ghosty mode. I uh, hope we can outrun this truck, and indeed we can outrun the truck towards the next corner. That is 
Now, let's say that is good news. We're likely to see this theme continue a little bit. If I've got a lot more speed, we'll make the most of the sneaky ghosty mode to get up the inside. We're both understeer off towards the wall, just honking that on the way through. We'll ping out of that. Uh, the truck out was very, very wide. We're going to drift a little bit wide for all of there. I don't want to let everybody pass, but it's not really going to be like I have much choice in the matter here onto the back straight. And there should be, and indeed, once again, the speed of the Vipers is just, it's, it's a lot of speed in these cars. Ewan's all over the place trying to fight away. Pass does get that one. I don't know where I'm going to get them to go. Uh, try to be sneaky around the outside. Actually, it doesn't really work. There's still just about a Viper sized gap uh, to get to there. But we're going to be on a long way around at this next hairpin. We're just going to get a bit blocked in behind Ewan's vehicle. And everyone's going to be steaming past on the inside. The Rams have got a good amount of grip. You know, the the, the all-wheel drive, the bigger tyres on those trucks do allow them to carry some decent corner speed. The Rams are still there alongside. On my inside, Danger Man's got both of them. Where the hell did that car come from? I was not expecting there to be a vehicle up the inside. That slides through, and I'm still trapped on the outside of all of this. I've got a wheel on the grass. I'm eventually going to have to just yield out of that, I think. Uh, otherwise, we're going to end up running out of room. The trucks are side by side behind us. Uh, we will, again, outrun uh, one of the rams. That'll put us up a position. We can carry so much speed. Maybe okay. we can carry a lot of speed through there. I might have got a little carried away with the speed uh, and the, the grip, the levels of grip that I thought we had going on. The leaders have buggered off in this. There are cars in 1, 2 and 3 at the moment, I think. Completely utterly gone. We're going to find a little gap. There's just about a gap to fire our vehicle through there. You and uh, in trouble on the exit of that corner. We'll find a gap to fire our car uh, into. We are chasing down a very very colourful uh, vehicle up ahead here. Some sliding from the orange right. These things are actually kind of understeerier than I was expecting that I remember. I've driven the Viper a few times. Generally quite good Again, generally quite a good A-class car, and Stock Guys apparently is more understeery than I was expecting it to to be in here. Uh, back towards, uh, we might we may even get the round. As I say, I thought we we're going to be too far back. We may even get the round. We'll just hold position for now through this corner. Uh, so the very mid corner point, the Ram is a little bit quicker uh, than the Viper. It does actually have. A decent amount of grip. The problem is it's not really going to be enough. Again, it's the same move we've been doing on everything else so far. The same move the Vipers have been doing on everything else so far. Just use that superior, much, much superior straight line speed acceleration. And we will get the vehicle past. Okay, this one, there is a little bit more of a, a PI gap in favour of the cars uh, over that of the pickup truck. The Rams... <laughs> It's a, I'll be honest, it's a terrifying sight, regardless, you know, when you just flick the camera back and there's suddenly a, the, the, the grill of a ram behind you. It does carry some pretty good speed through those uh, through those corners. It's If I'm honest, it's not looking good for the trucks here. It's not looking great for the trucks. There's a bump on the wall. That always gives me a little bit of hope, a little bit of confidence. We can find our way past trying. A, it's a long way around the outside of uh, that particular corner. It's not quite going to make that stick either. Uh, as we will duck back into line, maybe at turn one we can have a go. I think it's safe to say, I mean, the, the Rams can hold up the Viper a little bit, but it's only really a, it's only really a little bit. Oh, that's some sliding. That's oh, just chasing the back end across. Unfortunately for me, it's just slowed me down as well. We're not going to be winning this race. The battle for the win is, is long gone as well. <laughs> Well, much but much further down the road than we are going to get. We spent two long, spent two or three laps battling with the other pickup trucks. Can we get underneath here? This is a good opportunity. We can indeed. The orange car, uh, the other orange car, I should say, just wandering a little bit too wide. Although I'm all sorts of terrible wonky line through here. That's not what I wanted really. I guess trying to get that pass done. My turn to have a bit of a slide on the exit as well. Um, yeah, in terms of the overall competition, uh, this one the. I think the problem, I think it doesn't even matter necessarily what circuit. This circuit maybe exposes the differences a little bit greater, but um, I think the Viper is considerably faster in a straight line than the Ram. It's lighter, you know, lots of power and all that. It's considerably faster accelerating in a straight line top speed. It's actually not that much worse cornering. It's a bit of a difficult car to get driving this, this thing. It's a bit stubborn. In fact, I've got a lot of company uh, coming up towards this first corner, which I was kind of hoping once we got clear we wouldn't really have to worry about. But I don't think I have to quite defend at the moment. Uh, Especially in identical cars, it'd be a very brave dive, although I maybe should have done because I've gone very wide on my own. We brushed the wall and now there's that sort of we see the front of the orange car having a look. It might not quite be able to do too much down here. We can still take our normal line. It's 
there or thereabouts. I've got to knock Bulls up this next corner. This is a, it's always a tricky corner. I've got to get the braking right on the way in. We've seen a lot of cars understeering wide through here. We do get this one stopped nicely. A little bit of smoke from the tyre. Actually, a little too much speed mid-corner. We're heading off towards the wall again. Uh, it could have been worse. It still wasn't brilliant as we head out onto the straight. At least we get a good exit onto the straight. That's kind of what matters here. Uh, the other car unable to have really have a look up the inside through that sort of double apex corner. Uh, we're miles, miles clear of the rounds. Yeah, they just don't have the speed. They have a little bit more grip. We've got to be careful with these last couple of quarters, actually. Let's just, uh, let's just get it around. Let's get it home before we wrap things up. Shall we? It's probably not a bad idea. There's the final corner. Make sure we park it uh, relatively well on the inside. We shall accelerate away, not really leaving any gap. We've got a little bit of a safety cushion. Not nothing crazy, but enough of a safety cushion. We will run clear towards the line. It's going to be a top five all for the Vipers. Yeah. Much, much quicker on a straight line. And in the corners, there wasn't a bit. There wasn't all that much different. The Ram may be a tiny fraction better. You just look at the lap times and you will see. Yeah. Uh, the track maybe didn't help too much. I don't think it would matter where we went. I think the Viper is always uh, going to be winning that one. Worth a try. Can't say I'm massively disappointed, though. I do have rather a soft spot for the Vipers. So, for our final race in this little series, we have gone to Nissan. We have a Skyline versus the Titan. Now, one thing we generally... Ooh, ooh that's not what I wanted. That's bad. That's bad times. Uh, <laughs> we come to the Andalside Village Circuit, so this is a tiny little track. Now, one thing we have generally seen is the cars out-accelerate and as much faster straight line than the trucks. The trucks can often out-turn. They've got bigger tyres. They're just a lot more modern than the wibbly-wobbly chassis of the 70s, for example. Now, we don't have any out-and-out ultra-pure handling circuits really in Horizon 4. This is kind of the closest we get. Now, it's not the best track to race around owing to near impossible to overtake, especially when you're in a car against a massive pickup truck. I mean, the Titan is one of the biggest vehicles, I think, in the game outside the lights, the Gurkha and so on. Um, and there is a lot of corners around Ambleside. This is a kind of pure twisty-turny circuit. Um, it might be a problem with the Titan being so heavy around this one. You know, maybe the range of Raptor could be like a Pre around here, for example, but... Uh, well, we're going to see what we can do in this. At the moment, I believe it is one of the one of the skylines leading. The thing we're going to have to be careful of is just getting stuck. We are going to sit. We are going to get stuck in traffic a little bit around here. Uh, we may try and sneak our way to the outside. Maybe not quite. Oh, one of the Titans is out wide into the wall there. Uh, here we go. That puts us up into fifth place. So Liam is the highest place Titan up in second. This is already making a little bit of a breakaway for it up at the front. Uh, if if the Skylines get free, if if the Skylines make their way out of this group, I don't think the Titans can catch. But I do think it's going to be difficult for us to overtake. Clark was having a look around the outside. Could make it happen. Can I find a way to... Oh, <laughs> Pegg is going to give us a real squeeze on there. Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> we weren't really far enough alongside to make that count. Um, but uh, we, were, if we didn't yield, we were going to have a little... Uh, visitation with the wall. Uh, I'm going to look for every which way. Clark is doing exactly the same up against Liam. We're all staggered. I mean, Gliska's just ran away with this one. Uh, we're going to give a little bit of a push. Oh, Clark, you don't want to fall behind another truck. It's, it's, it's a disaster if you fall behind another truck because we just get stuck. Um, now we've got uh, Chris has come to join us. Yes, I know. We've all got to check up early because it's really difficult to overtake around here. We've had another lap staring at the back of Impega's truck here. Uh, we're going to go... Can I duck to the inside? No, not quite. Can I have a look around somewhere on the exit, maybe? This could be a good opportunity here. Okay, we're to the outside for the run towards the first corner. Now we're going to have to go around the outside of turn one. Uh, we might have the grip to make this work, though. Oh, there's just enough grip in the skyline. The thing is, that's one now. Now I've got to find a way past Liam. I might actually be able to fire it straight away up the inside here. Oh, yeah. Almost. Ah, where well, we got pushed. Impega actually pushed us past there. Impega actually gave us a good old... I mean, I'd slowed down. I couldn't get my car... Couldn't have got my car going any quicker. So, Impega gave us a massive nudge. Massive shot and fired us past. Uh, now, can we make a way up into... This is probably the best I've been doing. I'm not having the best of races, if I'm honest with you. Um, barring... Well, you know what? I've had a couple of good races, a couple of bad races. Uh, this is... Well, I've had one good race, a couple of iffy ones, and this is going a bit better so far. Uh, don't hit the street furniture. See, the Titans won't care about the street furniture one little bit. 
Uh, the Titans really won't care about the street furniture at all around here, whereas the Skyline's wheel are running super deep through there, and we have more trouble in the next in the next part. Uh, we're going to go hopefully up to second before the end of this race. Do we have a look at turn one? We're too far back. Try and be neat and tidy through all of these next few corners. Could be a dive up here, maybe. Clark's going to kind of sit in the middle a little bit, kind of cover the inside through there. Uh, we're going to try go. Uh, not going to go around the outside. We may have a sneaky look up the inside here. Not going to work at the moment. Still, it's just, you're changing side. Oh, Clark hit the wall. Uh, did I miss that checkpoint? No, I didn't. Thank God for that. Now we are alongside. We're going to try and make this work. It probably will. There's another car behind us having a look. It's almost three right. This is the narrowest, most difficult to drive circuit in the game. And we're almost three wide in Skylines. Bloody hell. How many more laps of this have we got? Oh, we've got way too deep in that corner. Now we're going to have another car taking a look around the outside. It's not quite going to work. Uh, <laughs> we're going to run towards the first corner. And now it's our turn to be defensive. We've got to defend all of these corners. Any gap is going to be, well, any, pro any possibility, any option, any opportunity is going to be taken here. Uh, we're going to defend heavily up here. The thing is, though, if you defend too hard, you make your car really, really slow off of the corners. You defend too hard, you're going to be really slow off the corners, and then there's an opportunity up, oh, like through there. You're on a funky line. The other car is looking every which way, but are you going to go around the outside here? No, probably not. Uh, Clark is in the battle as well. I'm hoping, so I was hoping Clark could uh, annoy Chris's vehicle a smidge through all of that. Chris wants to have a dive at the inside. There's just no room. Clark may have hit the building. We've lost sight of that fourth place car. I mean, we were 10 seconds down on the leader, uh, mostly because we fought one another and we got stuck in traffic the entire way around. It's been a fantastic race, this one. Uh, Chris had a massive throw in the final corner. Respect for the effort. Oh, we got pushed into the... I think it <laughs> may have been a little bit of a desync going on in that one. Uh, however, we got pushed into the, into the wall. I think Chris may have lifted. Uh, off of the throttle as we headed towards the line. That was a hell of a battle, though. The Titans, they may have had a little bit more grip, they may have had a little bit more traction, but the Titans were just not quite quick enough in all of that. We take a second, though, in a brilliant battle. Gliska had uh, just a track to himself and ran away from everybody. And there we go. The cars, once again, prove to be better this time than the pickup trucks. Uh, the Raptor got close, but that, I say, that... That was, that was about it. The others just not quite quick enough. Some fun racing along the way, nevertheless, though. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.